Okay. Our mission, Helping Parents Heal is a nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting bereaved parents to become shining light parents by providing support and resources to aid in the healing process. We go a step beyond other groups by allowing the open discussion of spiritual experiences and evidence for the afterlife in a non-dogmatic way. Affiliate groups welcome everyone, regardless of religious or non-religious background and allow for an open dialogue. Attendance today at the Helping Parents Heal meeting is voluntary, and we are here for the benefit of learning from and sharing with other parents whose child has passed away. It is understood that our discussions are intended to be confidential and not designed to replace traditional therapy or spiritual counseling. However, these Zoom meetings are very helpful to parents all around the world and they are posted on YouTube so that affiliate members who are not able to attend live can also watch. Helping Parents Heal offers a wide variety of speakers to allow parents to be informed about the many possible ways to heal, to connect with their children and to learn about the afterlife. The views expressed by our guests do not necessarily reflect those of Helping Parents Heal and we ask that you take from their presentations whatever may benefit you personally. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy, and welcome again, everyone. Um, Stacy Lynn Cripps, who is just absolutely amazing. If you're fortunate enough to ever have a reading with her, oh my gosh, you won't be disappointed. She's a well-known, highly respected spiritual medium, mentor and advisor of the gift of spirit. You can go onto her website, which is touching1mhearts.com, touching1millionhearts.com, and also join her Facebook group. So I'm going to turn this over to Stacy. Welcome, Stacy. Oh, Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here during this time to the holidays. Um, I, I, I just want to say um, Spirit comes really close uh, around anniversaries. Uh, holidays and birthdays, and they make sure that you know that they're with you through the heavenly signs, the heavenly language. So I'm happy to be here and to share with all of you and be in the gift of spirit. Uh, I'm going to take you through a meditation first to open up your heart space. I always talk about the heart, the spiritual center, and how spirit connects on love. So spirit connects in, on this beautiful higher vibration of love, peace, and joy. And in this place is where we can be in this higher vibration to see or feel or hear or receive messages uh, to touch our heart and to help us uh, heal and to know that we're spirit first in the body, having this human experience and that we do have this connection and that this connection can be supported through believing and being in a place of stillness, mindfulness, uh, meditating is a beautiful tool to connect with spirit. And so uh, in the past year, I recorded a meditation album uh, called Guided Meditations to Awaken to Spirit. And it's on Amazon and iTunes. And these meditations I used for years to help parents connect with their children in spirit. And they've been kind of tried and true through the years and their journey meditations. So uh, working with visual, visualization um, and also color and light, I do know enhances that spiritual connection, especially within meditation. Uh, so if you, uh, it's out there, I think it's like $9.99, um, but it's out there and they're beautiful meditations to really help you, I feel, be in that space. Because when we're in the world, we're thinking thoughts and we're running around and doing all of our to-dos and meditation is a practice. So being in that place of, oh, I'm going to do one meditation today for five minutes, or I'm going to do um, a meditation for 10 minutes and just get yourself into that space and that space once you're there in that sacred space it carries you throughout the day and you're you're actually open more to receiving from your loved ones in spirit and you feel it so you feel it so you feel it when you see the sign from them you know it's from them you you feel it when you just say oh i just had this memory come to me they're bringing you that memory so just know that spirit's extremely clever 
uh, around reaching you to touch your heart to help you heal. They bring in these um, feelings, these memories to connect with you. It's real, it's real. So spirit is real. Uh, and so I just want to share that's just kind of coming in. And so I wanted to share that with you. It's in the believing that we receive uh, and getting ourselves out of the um, place of thinking and into the place of being within, within our spirit of feeling and receiving. And so I'm going to take you through a heart opening meditation before I start the readings, because uh, spirit works with the collective. So when we can get to a place of love, peace, or joy, they can come in really easily and connect and blend and bring those loving evidence, evidential messages. I think Irene uh, and Kathy are going to look for people in the chat who are saying that this is for them. And uh, I'll also feel if it's for you too, as I connect with spirit, I'll bring through a few things that they're bringing through. They orchestrate the entire hour or so. So they orchestrate it. They know who's already coming through. All your loved ones are here. I just have to say that. And, uh, but it's planned, it's orchestrated. And I'll say, I just work with the British um, group last week and I did an event with them, uh, your British affiliate group, and uh, there were some breakthroughs. So some things that came through from the children and spirit uh, were were also for other other people on, and they were saying that in the chat. And that does happen because spirit's going to use all the time that we have to touch as many hearts. Okay, so I wanted to share that with you too. There can be those breakthrough moments. Like I say, oh, if I get a bulldog, oh, I don't have a bulldog. Oh, it's for someone. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> so just know that spirit does do that. It does happen. It's pretty amazing. Um, Cause someone will say, oh, that's my bulldog. Uh, so, okay. All right, I'm really excited because I can feel the energy here already. So what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna take you through a meditation. So when we meditate you make sure your back is supported. Oh, it's already starting. Uh, and make sure everything is uncrossed, your hands, your feet, your legs. Just sit back, gently close your eyes and listen to the sound of my voice. You can hold your hands kind of up on your legs or you can connect them and just be in this place of receiving, this place of openness and relaxation. Okay, as I start. So just gently close your eyes. And just feel your breath on the inhale and exhale. Mindfully to the count of four on both the inhale and exhale. Just breathe into the stomach slowly. Let the air move up to the lower lungs. And when you exhale, just release everything in the physical and the tangible. And just feel your breath lightly. As it slows down to a rhythmic breath, we're gonna quiet, clear the mind. You can imagine beautiful white divine light there, shining down from the heavens. And drop your attention from your breath to your heart. We're going to open up your heart like a beautiful green flower. You can imagine beautiful green healing light there. And just feel love in your heart for all those that you love on earth and in heaven and all those that love you. Just feel into that love that is always there, always connected. And just let that loving feeling, loving light, just expand within your being now. And just be love. And as we hold this intention to connect with spirit for love and healing, we're gonna invite your loved ones into the space sacred space, angels as well. And 
And I always say a devouring prayer of thanks to God for this beautiful spiritual gift. Love, peace, joy, comfort, guidance, healing, the highest good of all. And so it is. You can take a deep breath in and exhale and come back into the present moment. Gently open your eyes. And I'm going to have you continue to stay in your heart space right now and throughout. Just feel your heart. And just ask that everyone mutes right now. Everyone mutes. Okay. All right, good. And it just takes me a moment to connect and uh, see who's here. And uh, yeah, and at the end, I just want to announce a little something that's happening on December 16th. I have a YouTube premiere, the Gift of Spirit Gala. It's a free event, and you can find out more on my YouTube channel. Uh, but I wanted to share that too, and I may talk a little bit about that too at the end. But it's Thursday, December 16th, next week at 7 p.m. Okay, so all right, so let me connect and see who's here. I look over here and I focus uh, very much on, on spirit um, first and foremost and throughout. So I'm not um, ignoring, I'm just kind of focusing uh, for that spiritual connection. Okay. Okay, so as I connect, um, I'm actually seeing uh, either a dad or a grandfather with, with the sun that's coming through. And the sun has um, dark black hair. Um, I'm also getting an M name. I thought I heard Mike for a moment. Okay, welcome. Okay, I know this boy, uh, I know he lost weight before he, he passed because he's, he's showing me that he, he lost quite a bit of weight before he passed. Okay. He's also giving me a feeling of something uh, right here in this, in this area, like in my chest area, I'm getting a feeling here from him. Uh, he feels like this man may be his father too as they come through. Uh, but I'm very aware of this of this young boy um, who's coming through here. Uh, okay. And I'm also seeing like a one and an eight as well from him as he connects. So uh, it could be uh, 18 could be how old he was or 18 could be an anniversary, but he's definitely giving a one and an eight. Um, thank you. Okay, so I have a boy coming through here with uh, with a family member, dad or grandfather here next to him. And I know this boy had kind of straight black hair is what I'm feeling. Um, I, I'm also getting some blue eyes on him as he points to my eyes. Um, he's also kind of coughing a little bit. He feels, I feel some congestion here, like in my lungs in this area. Uh, thank you. And I know he lost some weight before he passed, okay. Um, all right. Um, so we have a couple of people. Um, okay. I want to go down to, he's kind of bringing me down. I just thought I heard Brazil, but I, 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 I feel like I'm going down to like a Latin America too. So I have to say that too, as this boy comes through. Okay. There's a connection here. Um, okay. We have a couple of people. Yes. Yeah, so, um, Carla said um, her son's name is Michael and he lost weight due to leukemia. Um, Mary said he lost weight but was not ill. Um, Can I bring Carla? And, is it Carla? I'm yeah, just, I'm yeah. going to ask. And then Colleen hasn't answered what her son's name is. And she said her son passed from lung issues and lost weight. But Carla has answered with um, the Michael. So, okay. all right, Carla, I've asked you to unmute. Can you speak, please? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi, welcome. Hi, Carla. I'm getting Hi. a lot of chills on, on you right now. So I, I very much feel um, he's here for you because he's giving me chills on my legs, <laughs> up my back, and I'm just feeling. And you understand, did he have blue eyes? Yes. 
Uh, they were hazel. Uh, they weren't blue. And okay. he, yeah, he was um, he was 20 when he passed, so he wasn't 18. Yes. That's okay. He kind of looks that so good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So wonderful. Welcome. Let 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 me work with him. And his name's Michael, right? Yes. yes. Michael. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. That's my mom. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. So uh, okay. He's giving a lot of chills. I'm also feeling too from him. Do you understand the the man that's with him? It's it could be an uncle, uh, not okay. a, a father. Yes, like yeah. He's very close to him, I have to very say. Very close, yes. Very, very close. Thank you. And he's got like salt and pepper hair. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. Like he's showing him him himself. And he's kind of got a little bit of broad shoulder. Um, but I'm feeling that he's very close to him and that they're coming together. Okay. okay. They're coming together. So they may be piggybacking off one another. Um okay, thank you. Um at, as as he comes in, I'm also seeing a cross too. Okay, so I just got across here. Um, okay, thank you. And do you understand like these issues here that he had going on? Yes. In this area? What yes. does that do? Uh, he, at, towards the end, he was bleeding internally. He was having a lot of stomach uh, issues because everything was just, the leukemia was everywhere at that yes, point. Okay, thank you. Yeah, shutting down, is what, shutting down is what he's telling me right now. He's telling mm -hmm. me to shut him down. Okay, all right, great. So uh, let me just keep going with him. Now he's, he's talking about a tree, uh, a tree being planted or a tree being planted. And he wants to talk about that. He wants to talk about like honoring him and this tree being planted. Do you understand that? Um, it wasn't planted. It was his favorite tree. And we did honor him around the, his favorite tree. Yes. yes. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> he, he was there too. So of course, good. and um, his, he's just giving me this feeling of like being in a circle and, <laughs> and, yeah. and the trees there and it's his heaven. Okay. It's his yeah. heaven. This, this outdoor place for him, now he has no limitations where he is right now and he can climb and he can go into these spaces and places where there's no limitations with the body. So I have to say that he's doing that over here, by the way, okay? Great. Um, he's also bringing you things in the tree. So you understand. Okay. He's bringing you, oh, I saw this little bird that I saw the engraving. So he's bringing you these things in the trees. Do you understand that? Yes, okay, there's an engraving that? in the tree. Oh, engraving, thank you. Okay, good. Yeah. I'm that too. And is, is there a J? I, I'm just, I, he just showed like a J for a moment too. There is, you mean in the tree, a J? Yeah, he, he, he just brought a J as he's talking about the tree. Do you understand that? Yes, there's, um, there's a few actually little trinkets that are written and J would represent his grandmother. Her name okay. is Janie. She's okay. she's still here though. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. He just brings that because mm -hmm. he sees that because he sees that. Um, now he's mentioning apples too, or apple trees. Mentioning apples. So, okay. um, what does that mean? I'm seeing apples here too. He just enjoyed apple pie. It's not there was no oh, apples in the okay. tree though. Yeah. Okay, but he just loved apple pie. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you know what he's saying, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like jumping up and down. He has a lot of energy. He's like <laughs> doing a knee jump. So I have to say he does jumps and he's doing like a knee jump. So I just felt him doing that. And I know he's so excited and happy to be here. Uh, he's like a monkey. Um, he's talking to me like he's like a monkey. So he's like all over the place. And he's giving me that, that personality or that feeling of him being all over the place. And that he's talking to me about like, even though he, he was getting affected, he didn't want them to have to stand in the way of his joy, of what yeah. he enjoys, of his joy. And he pushed himself. So he's saying, mom helped me, mom helped me. Like she gave me these little, these little things that I drank. She helped me, oh, mom, helped, mom helped me get Thank to, you. get to do these things until I couldn't anymore, until I couldn't mm -hmm. anymore, but mom helped me. So there's like a holistic feeling of you helping him because he's giving me chills all over my body. And he's talking to me about holistic, holistic stuff that my mom did for me that really did help me. And that gave me energy. It gave me energy. It, it, it helped me get through certain days. So you understand that, right? Yes, he was really into crystals towards the end. And so we did a lot of, of, of that rituals. And um, 
and angels. So he was, yeah, we were helping each other. I was very, very blessed that I got to be with him for the 19 months that he was sick. So yes, yeah. yes. And he's giving this whole feeling about how this holistic, he calls it holistic matters, holistic <laughs> medicine, mm-hmm. <laughs> holistic energy, holistic medicine gave him an extra boost. And okay. he's talking about this extra boost that he took that with him. And now he's like way boosted, <laughs> he's way boosted. He says like way high up and he brings you this energy. Oh, that's so nice. He brings you this higher energy. Sometimes he's talking about certain days. I bring my mom a boost of this energy to help her through the day. Mom, you know, I do this. Yeah. You know, it's that's me. great. You know, it's me, he says. Well, just in the meditation, I felt him next to me. So that was like, just when we were doing it together, that was amazing. So yeah, yeah. so he was already, already coming through to show you that, that he, that he's here and that he's with you. Now he gives me a feeling of touch. So he's touching my shoulders right now. He Mm -hmm. gives a feeling of, of touch. He doesn't want you to see him sick. So he's out of the body. He's got all his energy. Um, oh, he's on a train. <laughs> so he gives me a feeling that I'm on a train and I'm going to landscapes and I'm looking, oh, he's going over to Mount Rushmore. So I, he's seen all these places he's wanted to see. Okay. This is the feeling that he's giving right now. Okay. Um, okay. So he's still showing his name, Michael here. He's showing his name, Michael here. Okay, what happened with his hands? So there's, he's giving me a feeling of my hands and he's like squeezing my hands a bit. He's squeezing my hand. Well, he was very nervous, like he had anxiety. So he did that a lot with his hands actually. Oh, I see. Uh, I see. Yeah, and during a lot of the treatments that he had to undergo, they were very painful. Mm-hmm. And he would do that to keep his energy and everything into his hands at that moment. So oh. he did a lot of those movements with his hands. Yes, he's doing it right now. And he says, Mom, when you start doing this, you know it's me too. Yeah. So, <laughs> when you're not in your mind and your hands yeah. keeps going like this, it's a sign from him. It's a okay. sign from him that he's doing this. Okay. And he says it's this feeling that he felt that it just uh it just kind of helped him get through. It mm-hmm. helped him get through. Yeah. And see how strong my mom is. My mom is so strong. She's so Ugh. strong. And she helps so many people. Oh, and wow. he's talking about you helping so many people. And 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 there's a feeling of like kids, but I'm going to a nursing home and I'm feeling people that are ill. People that are ill. And I'm helping my mom help these people. Oh, that's amazing. Um, he, we were part of uh, the Leukemia Foundation. We, uh, we walked in memory of a lot of, you know, people before he had uh, transitioned. And I continue to do that in his honor. So I continue to be his voice. And that is why I shaved my head actually was to yes, raise he's money pointing to your head. He's like, yes, because I had hair for yes, longer he's than pointing this. to your head, but he's talking about it in terms yeah. of helping people. Well, thank You're you. So we raised them. money for the, you know, with the shave, I raised the yes, 13. Yes, yeah. And them. so because other, other kids don't have the choice to, you know, they have no choice, but to lose theirs. So, yeah, so he's this is amazing. Like, oh he's my God. This army of kids on the other oh. side, he's bringing them all in. They've all had leukemia. Oh, thank you. Yeah. They've all had leukemia and he's bringing them all in. And he's talking about the love. He's talking about the love that is being given to these kids right now. And that love heals, love heals. And he's Mm -hmm. saying this, that this love heals. It does heal. It can turn things around. And he's talking about this. And now he's got an army of children here that are coming in, helping you help the children. You see, you see. And uh, there's like a ribbon. So I'm seeing a ribbon too, showing a ribbon. And showing a t-shirt or a ribbon, <laughs> t-shirt with a ribbon that mm-hmm. I'm seeing right now on a screen or a t-shirt with a ribbon. So I have to say that he wants to recognize this. Yep, ribbon. that's the t-shirt I wear. Proud mom mm-hmm. of a leukemia warrior. And there's an orange ribbon on the t-shirt. Oh, beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. And you know, when you get <laughs> these chills and tingling, Michael's here with all these kids. 
this is why it's just coming so strong through my whole being, is that he wants everyone to know this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> when you become a soldier, you say soldier, when you become a soldier to help others through your pain and suffering, we all come in. We all come in to help, to help. And it's just so, such high energy. He has such high healing energy. And he's starting this off because he wants everyone to know when you go from this pain to purpose, we all come in even closer and we're the marching band. <laughs> <laughs> so he's talking about a marching band too. He's talking about he's in a marching band. Okay. And he's bringing them all through. And so there's this feeling that I'm getting from him too of Christmas time. And I'm going to Christmas time. I'm going to the tree. I'm going to the Christmas tree. And um, he's talking about one. Mm -hmm. One. Is he only one favorite? No. Number one oldest? He's, he's the oldest. Oldest. Okay, thank you. Because he's the oldest. One, it's like oldest favorite, only one. Okay. Yeah. And so he's bringing in this and he's saying, I'm putting on, I'm putting things on the tree. I'm putting things on the tree. And there's this little dog ornament that I just saw like a Snoopy or something. I just saw something right here too. And he's just coming in and he's saying, I'm still here. I'm still awesome. here. He said, I, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do here. And he is talking about the memo, the writing, the journal. Mm -hmm. Yep. The memo. He, he left, he left journal. a journal. He wanted oh. to write, yeah, he definitely wanted to write a book uh, during his illness and wanted to help others going through the same. And unfortunately, uh, that never got, you know, finished. Oh. Well, yeah. fortunately, you're going to write it with him. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, okay, you're going to write it with him. And he shows a butterfly. So okay. he shows a butterfly that's flying around you. I know he brings that to you. And I know that... Uh, he's going to be bringing you this butterfly sign around your book um, because the kids in spirit help write the book. And so I just feel this happening for you too. And this is going in, you know, 2022 to 2024, mom. Okay. Well, in his book, in his journal, he wrote that he was the caterpillar that turned into the butterfly. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That yes. is so amazing. Yes. Because that was his journey. He said the reason that he got sick is so that he could turn into that butterfly. And regardless um, his fate, he'd be able to help others, you know, and be the pioneer because he was also in an experimental treatment, which mm -hmm. is now the CAR-T treatment that is given to us here in Canada. Uh, it was only offered in the U.S. So he was one of the students that, you know, got to... Uh, yeah, this is amazing. I'm sorry. I'm like, so <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. But you are ready for it. I have to say. So as, as he's coming in with the butterfly, he's the butterfly. He's bringing you the butterfly. The butterfly is going on the book and he is now limitless in helping you and helping these children and something around this treatment too, being accepted, being exposed being given to more and more and more and more yeah okay. uh and he's doing this here and he's doing this here with you so pay attention to that treatment that he received that program because it feels like it's going out it's going out to more and more and more okay so awesome. i have to say that too and awesome. i just believe you with all his love because he is just wow oh. he started this off with all this energy and all 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 this love he loves you so much oh, oh. my god I love him too. <laughs> you, for you too, you too, he gives me the feeling that you're going to rule the world. Yeah. He gives this feeling. My mom and I are going to rule the world. <laughs> okay. So he's giving you this energy right now. It's coming through and we're going to rule the world. And this ruling of the world is, is the, the oh, I see a butterfly up here, is, is getting every child the treatment that they need every awesome. child the treatment that they need okay in a timely manner he's showing a clock and he says in a timely manner mom awesome manner. okay so wow blessings oh thank you so much this, this is so amazing awesome. thank you You're welcome
Yes. So wow. much love. <laughs> so much love and wow. Yeah, that's incredible, Stacy. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. He, he's he's like pioneer here. He's he's gonna show everybody how it's done, right? Um, he says something around too. Um, no sleep. So it's coming to you in your dreams. It's coming to you during the day. It's coming to you in your dreams. It's and he says, no, no sleep, only spirit in this type of a divine life purpose type work. And so getting you into that higher vibration of purpose. And this is what the kids can do in spirit. And it is just incredible to experience uh, and share. Okay, so let's keep going. Now I have a blonde girl here. Uh, so now I have a girl with long blonde hair and she's showing up. And I, I feel her and, oh, she's very social girl. Uh, she's very social and she's going like this with her hair. And it's very long, kind of down her back. Um, and I feel like I just hit my head. So I feel like I just hit my head and like this feeling of an accident. I'm just feeling something here that she's kind of tapping on my head right here. Um, and there's like a Livia or... Olivia feeling that I'm getting from her too. Uh, Liv or just feeling this too from, from, from her. Um, she's also giving me this feeling of a, of a wheel, of a wheel. I'm getting like a wheel, like a steering wheel, wheel from her too. Um, and I do feel higher teens with her. I do feel that. Uh, I do feel that from her too. And uh, I do know with her, she's coming in. Uh, I do know with her that um, she gives me the feeling something happened in her car. So I have to say that too. And uh, she's giving me that feeling, just like feeling that what happened to her. Uh, okay. Uh, we yeah. have one, one mom that, um, I don't know, when she said, sorry, not me. When you said long blonde hair, she could take it, but then she just said, sorry, not me. So it wasn't a car, I assume, okay. and nobody okay. else has taken yeah, so anything. What I'm, I have a young girl coming through and I see her with long blonde hair, okay, as she comes in. It's straight, it's straight and it's long. And as she comes in, I just know, she gives me a feeling of social, of social with her. I'm going to keep working with her, ask her to come closer. She showed me a car for a moment and a steering wheel. So I know she was of age of driving. She gave me a little feeling up here, just up here on, on my forehead. Okay. Um, now she's giving me a feeling here in my throat, feeling something here, right here around, around this area uh, too. She's coughing. Just give me a feeling of coughing too. I'm getting that too. Um, I know she had pretty eyes and eyelashes mm -hmm. as she comes in. Uh, I also feel 20. I'm seeing like a two and a zero. 20, 20s. I'm also seeing that too from her. Uh, she gives me a feeling that, she gives me a feeling of, uh, feels like a cheerleading mini skirt. I feel something around cheerleading too from her. Um, and I know there's a Mary connection. I know there's a connection with a Mary. She comes in. Okay, is this resonating? Um, no, nobody's taking anything. And um, if it if it happens to be Carla, you can tell her we'll talk later. Because oh, okay. <laughs> throat and my grandmother is Mary and um oh, so I'm okay okay it's all right it's okay okay now I'm going over here now and I'm I'm seeing someone with darker hair and it's like shorter um, dark hair uh well Holly is saying her daughter had long blonde hair she was 19 years old and okay uh, let me talk brain to cancer yeah let me talk so to okay. Sure, let me ask her to unmute. Sure. Okay, Holly, can you please unmute and speak to us? Hi there. 
Hi, Holly. Welcome. Thank you. Can you tell me, would, would she be a year older in heaven now? Yes. Thank you, because she's yes. giving me that feeling. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, okay, so long blonde hair. And, you know, was she, oh, she, she was, was she, she did stuff with her body. Yes, she um, was, she, she danced. Oh, she danced. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So that's the skirt moving back and forth. I okay. was a pom-pom girl. I danced and I had a skirt. So she okay. showed me like my skirt. So this is how she's connecting with the dance. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And she taps on my head right here. So you know, understand something happened to her up here, right? Yeah, she had uh, brain cancer. Okay, good. Okay, not good, but I, it's yeah, her. it's her. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Would you like to come on video? I'm trying to, but I can't, I don't know what uh, I'm trying to push it. There's but a little bit of video icon in the left hand of your screen. And if you click it, then you'll come oh. on. Uh, okay. Let's see. You move your mouse down and I'll just keep working with her here. Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I know someone who's helping her. <laughs> okay. So. As she comes in, I just want to say she's very bubbly. Yes. Very bubbly. And she's very social. Mm -hmm. And um, I just feel this lightheartedness from her. Yeah. Um, um, I'm a busy bee and I go many places. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to go shopping and now I want to go to the pool. And <laughs> I want to go meet with my friends and I want to, I want to do my hair <laughs> and, and she's just giving all these things of how she was very busy, busy bee throughout the day. Uh, and very social. Okay. Yes. Extremely. She, extremely. Right. She is, um, she's whistling. I don't know. Was she whistling something? I just heard a whistle from her too. Okay. Um, she says that her hair is really long now. Oh, wow. It's, it's really long. And, and she loves it. Oh, <laughs> and so she's also giving me a feeling. Um, I don't know if she had some back pain, but she's giving me this feeling that pain free. I have okay. a lot of friends. Um, and there's like sparkles. There's some bling here. Okay. And I just feel that she's got a lot going on. Um, she gets noticed like that. Yeah. So she gets noticed like that. So she she wants to talk about too, about the children's hospital or the hospital that helped her. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she wants to go there for a moment okay. and she she wants to talk to you about them. Okay. And she's coming over here and she's talking about donations. Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, she says donations and she, she's very connected to this hospital. Yes. And we've, we've, um, we've actually, uh, after she passed, we asked people to send donations to the children's hospice. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. And she's on that with you, by the way. Oh, so, awesome. Piggybacking off of this last boy. So she's she's on that with you, getting these donations there because they can help so many kids. So oh, that's kids perfect. Like yes, yes. So she talks to me about three, three times with this going on. She says three. Three? Uh, hmm, I'm not sure about three, that. Three. She's bringing three around what happened to her. So I have to say that because it's okay. And it may come to you later. It's okay. Okay. She, she's bringing three, threes, threes around this. Okay. Okay. So it, it also could be signed from her three, three, three. Right? Okay. But I'm not going to, I could define it. I'm, I'm just going to say that that's what she's bringing. Um, now she's, she go, she's like acrobatic. Yeah. She, she, she's she, on a she, balance beam. Uh, she acrobat. There's an acrobatic feeling I'm getting from her too. Uh, she used to do cartwheels and that kind of thing. Okay, okay, because she's moving. Okay, good. Okay, good. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she has even more energy over here. Oh, <laughs> imagine. So she's bringing all this healing energy here. Now, 
in the beginning, I saw this little green frog, but I know a little, I know a girl that's helping her that brings little green frogs, but I'm going to mention it anyway, because um, I'm just going to mention that. Okay. okay. Uh, but I do know that this other girl is helping her too. And they're very similar in their social beans. Oh, beans, okay. So she has a friend, she's got friends over here and she does want you to know that. Now she's writing a letter. She's showing a letter she's writing. A letter. Okay, keep going. She shows me an A. And she's writing, she's showing writings. 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 Okay. So there's just something feeling around her honor or honoring her. And she's just showing these like writings too that I'm feeling. And she's also giving me an H too. Oh, that, yeah. Um, okay, well, an H is my, I'm Holly. So that's my first name with an H. And I'm wondering if the writings could be, I wrote a, um, for her celebration of life, I actually wrote the, um, instead of doing a speech, I actually got this celebrant to um, read my writing for her. Okay, yes, thank you. Yeah, because honoring her, she says. Yes. And she she sees that, she reads that. Oh. She wants it on a plaque. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's awesome. There's so much healing there in these writings and she, she wants it up there for people to see in the house, okay. in the house. Okay. Okay. So the feeling of it being in the house. Um, okay. Uh, she's smart. I get this yep. smart feeling from her too. She talks about her brain and she's like, I'm smart. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very smart. I go over here to some math over here too. And I also go, I also go to some writing. So I'm just feeling this from her too. Uh, now I'm also getting a tambourine. Tambourine. I'm also getting like bells. I'm also feeling like music and I'm feeling like the sound of music. Through, through. Yeah, she loved, she loved music, like just with her dad. Her dad and her have a connection through music. Okay, thank you. Because she's bringing in the tambourine. She's bringing in music and she says the sound of music. I'm keep going with her. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, so what I do know from her, all oh, the sunshine song. She's, oh. She's giving the sunshine song. Okay. Um, she, brings the, she brings this music to connect with you and her dad. Okay. And there's a sunshine. Yep, yep. There's, um, there's a song that, that I used to, that I like that we would kind of sing together with the word sunshine in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Cause I just heard like sunshine on my shoulders, but sunshine. Okay. Is, yep. Yep. Is, that makes total sense. Okay. What does that mean? Um, well, there's a song. Um, oh God, I don't want to sing it, but <laughs> it, it's, um, it goes, if you steal my sunshine, <laughs> something like that. And I used to sing that with her. Okay, good, good. So she's singing that with you oh. and she's bringing it, she's bringing it to you. And she wants you to know that she's connecting to you through sunshine songs. Okay. Sun, songs and sunshine songs in the titles and in the lyrics. Okay. okay. This is a straw. This is, she loves music so much. Yeah. And this is how she can connect with you spiritually through these signs. Okay. Oh, okay. It's not just dad, mom. <laughs> okay. It's not just dad. It's you too. Okay. You too. Okay? I believe it. And she's like showing the peace sign too. Okay. So I feel like this, like this flower girl. So yep. I'm also feeling this flower girl. She's yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's Her like name that. is Lily. Oh, flower girl. Okay, very good, very good, beautiful, beautiful, yeah, she's like, I'm on fire. <laughs> For sure she is, I uh, believe it. 
I'm on fire. Uh, I've got this down. I've got this down. Um, so mom and I are holding hands and she shows you guys holding hands. I don't know if there's a ring on the hand. Um, yeah. Oh, she's pulling out my ring. Yep. Mm hmm. I've got her ring on my hand right now. Yay! Yay! yay. <laughs> yeah, she's like, Mom and I are holding hands. I'm pulling on my ring. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Okay. Um, she goes, Mom looks at my hand. Mom feels me. Yeah. Uh, I whisper in her ear. I'm whispering in her ear. I'm opening her up here. So okay. she's opening her up to hear her inner, inner, inner hearing, inner yep. sound. Okay. Yep. Um, whispering reminders in you and about cooking dinner. About so I just got this reminder. I got to cook dinner. Yeah, I do. <laughs> got to cook dinner, mom. <laughs> I'm got to cook dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> so she's also brings you these reminders. Okay. Oh. Um, and and she's cooking with you. But she oh, likes, nice. She likes the cookies. So. Oh. Yeah, showing me cookies and like cupcakes and these sweet things. Okay, okay, yeah, um, that are her favorite. You know? And there's a certain cookie, a snickerdoodle, or there's a certain cookie that she's bringing through too. I have to say, okay, okay, there's chocolate here, chocolate um, chip, maybe there's there's chocolate here too. Okay, yeah, uh, very good, yeah, and. And I'm also feeling from her, um, she's pinching her leg and her leg is not really thin. It has muscle. Oh, okay. Okay. So she wants you to, to show you like how she looks now and okay. how she's feeling now. And she's got muscle. On her okay. Leg, and it's important for you to know this from her. Okay. Excellent. Because she's not like this anymore. Okay. She was in a wheelchair. Oh, okay. Good. She got muscle on her legs now. See? see? Awesome. This is how she she wants you to see her now. She's like running all over the place. Oh, and that's she's she's going to a bunch of family members. And then there's a boy over here that she's going to visiting. And on the other her. side? No, here. Oh. Her brother um, or um she just shows this boy she visits. Uh, okay. Uh, is there a brother? No. Okay. There's a boy. Is he little boy or? Uh, no. Seems to be teens. Seems to be. So I just, I'm just getting, I just, just got that really quickly from her. So okay. I'll share that with you. Um, there's also this feeling of amber um, that I'm feeling from her. I don't know if you're wearing if you're wearing jewelry of hers. I, uh, there's a feeling I'm getting too of amber, so I have to say that too. Okay. Uh, she's giving me a feeling of jewelry. So yeah. Wearing her jewelry. Yep. She's aware of you wearing her jewelry. Okay. Oh. And it, it makes her so happy. Oh, that's fantastic. Makes her very, very happy. And my mom's cooking now. So she's giving me a feeling of you cooking. Yeah. And, and she just wants to bring you so much love, but she mostly wants you to know that she looks and feels fabulous. Oh, that's fantastic. She looks and feels fabulous. And yeah. she wants you to... She wants you to communicate with her. Um, she gives me a feeling of you going to sleep at night and I am seeing a picture here and I am seeing her like hugging, hugging, hugging you um, oh. as you go to sleep. And there's oh. hugs because she gives really good hugs. So I she guess. is known for her hugs. Yes, huge hugs. Yes. Right? Just like, and she screams when she hugs. She like gives all this noise. Ah! You know, which is... <laughs> feeling of of her that she's all in yes all in she high. is and Definitely. so high happy yeah. so high and happy she gives the best hugs she gives the so, best hugs i'm gonna leave you with all her love 
all her oh. love and her happiness. She says she's so a happy girl. Such a oh, girl. thank you so much. You're so welcome. This is so, I'm sorry I didn't get my video on. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, no, it's okay because you're supposed to be cooking anyway. So. Yes. So <laughs> thank okay. you so much you're so welcome okay i'm gonna um i'm gonna bring in let's see who else is here too who else is here too um okay okay i have a young boy coming through that i know lost his hair so he shows me just like a little bit of a crew cut like here, and I know he lost his hair. And he comes in and I'm feeling, um, I'm seeing an eight, I'm seeing a nine, and he's younger, he's younger. And uh, he just shows me that his hair's cut really short and he's got a round head, got a round head. And uh, as he comes in, um, hello. And I know his cheeks are really full. He's got full cheeks. Just feeling that too from him. And he talks to me a little bit about something here, like in his mouth, like a little lisp or something, something going on here on this side. It's kind of like touching my lips here too. Um, so I have a young boy here coming through. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling some disease here. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, I know he had very, very short hair. Um, he gives me, I feel like eight, nine, 10. I'm just feeling this from him. Um, okay. Oh, this guy's lunchbox. So I'm seeing a lunchbox. Uh, on that lunchbox. Oh, uh, it's like, a, I just feel like Star Wars 2 right now from, from him. Uh, I feel some videos, feeling some videos, some games. Uh, is this resonating? Um, nobody's taking anything yet. Okay. Um, keep going with him. He may be someone you know too. Maybe someone you know. So maybe a messenger. Uh, but I have this boy coming through. Uh, I saw eight, nine. I'm seeing 10, 11. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, um, maybe that. What is that? Okay. I'm also feeling like my blood something going on here with my blood just feeling something here um, okay a couple people christy can you type in the chat how old your son was when he passed he's kind of tapping he up was 14 christy said her um her son oh gosh everything's moving so fast yeah. um, um, passed from a disease and his nickname was skywalker oh let me talk to her let me talk to her. Okay. Okay, sure. Let me get her on here. Yes, thank you. Christy, right? Yes, Christy. Okay, Christy, can you please unmute? Hi, Christy. Hi. Hi, Christy. <laughs> Welcome. He may have been Hi. counting up. He, he went to 8, 9, 10, 11, and so he may have been counting up, but I I will say I know I'm, I know I'm with you because I see resemblance. I'm seeing the resemblance in your face, okay? And and with your cheeks and with your cheeks, I'm seeing a resemblance. Oh boy, is he happy to be here. He is giving <laughs> me so many chills head to toe. So you get the Star Wars, right? I'm yeah. showing Star Wars. And what does that mean to you? Um, his middle name is Sky. So we used to call him Hunter Skywalker. Okay, okay, beautiful. Yeah, um, yeah, because he showed the Star Wars lunchbox. So yeah. Um, yeah. I was zooming in on that and he was showing that. Okay. Um, oh, he is just so happy to be here. And and so you understand the blood issue with him. Okay, what does that mean? Because he was bringing it a couple of times, tapping me. Uh, he had a uh, vascular Ehlers Danos disease, which he. Disease, he mentioned disease. Okay, yeah. yeah. 
transition from sorry I'm really nervous <laughs> it's okay sweetie it's okay we're we're just gonna give you lots of love right now <laughs> Uh, she, excuse me, passed away from an, I, I can't say the word, but er, erotic dissection. Okay, so that's okay, because as he brings it through, he mentioned disease specifically, yeah. and he mentioned blood, and he was tapping here in this area. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Um, he said, I I can't even say it. <laughs> says, I yeah, that it. would be him. <laughs> Okay, so he's bringing me to my wrist and I feel something on my wrist and he's holding my wrist right now and I don't know if it's a watch or something that's let's around my wrist but he he is bringing that okay so I have to say something tied around something around my wrist so I have to say that too okay from him. Um, I'm so happy to be with my mom with my mom all the time from the time she wakes up in the morning till she time she goes to bed. And then when she's sleeping, I am with my mom all the time and I'm knocking and I'm making noise. I'm making noise and I do things with the lights because I want her to know that I'm with her. I want her to know that I haven't left that I'm with her in spirit and I knock and I do these lights. I do these lights. Okay. So you understand that, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, so as, as he comes in, he's really excited because he gives me a feeling of, well, he showed a cat for a second. Um, oh <laughs> he showed me the cat. Um, I don't know where she's at right now, but. Oh, okay. So I have to say, me. he is around this cat. He's around this cat and this cat sees him, by the way, and and it does. To us in spirit. And so he is around this cat and he grabs the cat like <laughs> this. And he yep. walks around with the cat like this. Yep. He used to do that. He still does it, just so you know. He walks around, holds the cat, and the face is out, and all the legs are hanging out. Yep. And, and he says, I still do this. I still do this. I, I, I wake my mom up at night. I wake my mom up at night, in the middle of the night, to yep. tell her that I'm here. And she knows I do that. She knows I do that, right? OK. And then I'm seeing like a Scott, or there's like an S, or I'm seeing S. Scott, Stan. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing over here for a second. Is a, Stan is my father. Okay. Stan. Um, I saw Scott. I think it might be a breakthrough for somebody here, but he's he's over here, and I feel him very, very, very strongly. And he he wants to bring milk to you, milk. He wants to bring you milk, or he's got a bottle of milk, and he's just like oh. eating it, and he he's shaking it up. He's shaking it up. And he's holding it. Oh, you got a baby. Oh, you got a little baby here. Okay, yeah. So he do that at night. <laughs> oh, you do that at night. Okay, so he's showing how he's around you, what you're doing at night. He's showing how he's around you, and he's shaking up the bottle, the milk bottle, and he wants to bring it to you. Um, he says, I want to bring it to her so she doesn't have to get up. But I want to bring it to her. But he's just giving this feeling that he he can be bringing you his very. Um, high energy to like help you wake up and help you help the baby. Okay. Cause he's helping, he's helping. He wants to help with the baby. Yes. So, so, um, so now I'm seeing the 14. He was 14. The 14. Thank you. And, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, and he, he's giving a feeling of, um, I haven't been over here very long. He's, he just passed. Okay, thank you. Because he's just getting. Spent. I haven't been over here very long, not at all. Almost and, three months. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, he's giving me chills all over um, <laughs> because he is he is a fast fellow. Yeah. He's learned so fast how to come through, and he so badly wanted to come to you tonight and tell you, Mom, I'm still there. I'm I still asked there. him too. I'm still there, mom. Hey. I'm helping. I'm reminding you of things. I want you to know, mom, I'm still there. Oh, and he comes in and he hugs you right tight in the front. So <laughs> I'm feeling like this big, and you know, when he comes, he comes, he comes into you. Yeah. Like, he like almost knocks you down when he yeah. comes in to hug you. He's like, he, he doesn't, he like didn't understand like his body weight and he's showing how I like, oh, it's like my mom down <laughs> come in and I hug her I almost yep. knock her down yep he's kissing you I feel kisses here and here and he kisses the baby on the top of the head mm -hmm. um I'm also feeling that too from him and I know he likes his t-shirts 
because oh, goodness. <laughs> of the feeling of his t-shirts and that he likes to look at his t-shirts in his room and they have a lot of things on them that is important to him and it's very meaningful for him okay so i'm like feeling like videos or fortnite or i'm feeling yep. fortnite and yep. I'm, i want to put my t-shirt on and i want to play i want to play okay so you understand that right yep. okay yeah so he loves his t-shirts he'd like you to kind of lay them out Okay. Okay. He'd like you to kind of lay them out. Um, okay. He also wants you to take one and put it in bed with you. Okay. 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 Unless you already are doing that. I'm feeling the t-shirt <laughs> okay, under the pillow. Mom, mom, I know you got to pay attention to the baby, but you got to listen to me too. I want you to put the t-shirt under the pillow. He's, saying, <laughs> well, he's just like coming in and out, but he's, he really wants you to hear him. Okay. He wants you to hear him and know how much he loves you and how much you did for him how much you did for him now why am i feeling that only you did this for him because like only I, was, I was a single mom single mom thank you thank you he's giving you yeah. so much love and strength so much love and strength because what i'm feeling from him is she's the one she's the one for me she gave me so much she gave me so much and i'm giving her so much too my mom i'm giving you so much i'm giving you so much now, I also know that he's connected to a mat. I just heard this name too over here. I don't know. I just heard a mat. But I feel from him that he says, you are the only one. Only you helped me. Only yep. you. And yep. now he's giving you all this, all this back. Okay. So all this healing. He's giving you all this healing back. And you're going to be okay, mom. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. All right. And he talks about a little loan. So there's a little loan that he's talking about. And he's talking about that you're going to be okay. He's going to help you with everything you need. Okay. okay. Right. And I'm just going to leave you with all his love. Okay. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. Sending you lots of love. He's so excited. <laughs> he's so excited. Wow, that was beautiful. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, Stacey. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah. I just want to invite I want to invite everyone to the YouTube premiere on my YouTube channel on December 16th. It's an hour plus event. It was a 10-year gift to spirit gala event that we did in September. And it is beautiful too. So love for you to tune in for for that as well will you be sharing it on facebook because we can yes. share it on helping parents heal okay or you can yes. send elizabeth the link or send it to me on facebook and we'll share it with the group okay great yes yes i will and then i have another class opening up in january awakened um it's a three-month class so if anyone's interested in spiritual development uh that's also starting january 4th so i almost forgot that and if anyone wants to book a reading with Stacy, Kathy, put uh, the website in the chat. So please feel free to reach out. How long of a wait list do you have now, Stacey? Uh, uh, February. So okay. I've so got that's... February openings right now. Yeah. And I just want to tell everyone again, you know, there's it's just impossible for, for Stacey to reach everyone. But when one of us gets a reading, it's a validation for all of us that our children are here. Yeah. so and they were just beautiful and if carla holly and christy if you would reach out to elizabeth um send her an email elizabeth at helping .org. we'd love to have a picture of your children and something to write up about your reading with stacy for our next newsletter so that would be great and um stacy thank you so much for oh, doing this so we'll, we'll you, all be on next week supporting you and um Everyone, please unmute and say thank you to Stacy. And um, I hope Elizabeth could reach out and we could book another session with you. Thank you. Okay, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.